One of the cry and shames in recent years has been the development of the all-road bike. In, in essence, they gave it to the roadies to develop and they didn't know anything about bikes and they just did roadie shit to it. And they developed a racing protocol that was essentially road racing in the dirt. And it's like, it's such an incredible platform in a lot of ways, I think. You know, I'm a mountain biker, so I'm used to going off trail and everything like that. But the thing is, what you can do with a very well put together bike in terms of covering a lot of ground, covering it quickly, covering it on pavement or fire road or single track, you know, it's, it's kind of that dream do it all bike. And the thing is what we've ended up with in the marketplace is largely crit bikes with fat tires and they break like shit, they handle like shit, and you certainly aren't gonna ride rad trail fast. And it's like, I'm, I believe in underbiking. I think it's fun to ride a bike that isn't perfectly well suited. I live in Marin and most of my riding is done on a hardtail for mountain bikes and that's very aggressive mountain biking, but it's most fun. You know, I'm not trying to set the fastest Strava time when I go out on a ride. I'm trying to have the most fun I can have. And where I live, riding a hardtail tends to do that. Um, but I've, ri I, I've ridden a lot of full rigid and clunker and gravel type environments, both with drops earlier on. And I've given up entirely on drops for that environment because I just think that they're generally terrible uh, once you hit the dirt. Uh, drop bars are, I mean, there are arguable points, but generally it's an aerodynamic tool. And once you get into dirt, aerodynamics is generally not very important. Now, certainly in, in, in private Idaho or Kansas or something like that, yeah, they're going to be doing aerodynamic shit. But they're riding ag roads in fucking Kansas. Who gives a fuck, right? And I don't care about that. What I want to do is go for a ride after work, and ride a section of road, get up the hill, whatever, and then bomb down the trail coming home or something like that. Like, think about what's the value for people in the ability to set a fat, fast time at Kansas versus having a bike that's fairly well suited for riding pavement and single track and doing it comfortably, doing it quickly, doing it efficiently and all that, I think is really the platform. And I think in terms of development of, the, of the, that platform, I think, looking at the um what's the, what's the race that's enduro based uh grinduro i think grinduro is a much better way of looking at what we should be doing but it's totally ruled by the marketing department and the roadies in that you'll still see so many drop bars in those environments where it's like you know this one stage that might help you know and it's like that's that's competition of course but the thing is you know it's, racing improves the breed but the thing is, is that at least with Grinduro, it's more reflective of what I think a user wants to do with their bike is just go out for a ride, have some fun, ride the road, ride the fire road or whatever, come back on road or fire road, or take that nice single track because you're at the top of the mountain and you took the road up because that's what I want to do. You know, it's like, I don't want to like opt for the road when I could have ridden six single track instead. I don't have to set a record time. I don't have to be doing it like I'm on some crazy downhill bike. But the thing is, it's like I'd much rather take single track than take, have to take the road because my bike sucked so much ass, you know, that kind of thing.